In number 6, I will test the four card-backed wing designs. Choose the best one, then I will attempt to make a wing out of a plastic bowl, which will go terribly, terribly wrong. Join me as I draw, model, animate and film fantasy robots fighting in a machine-only world. It's crossover steampunk mecha. It's the behind the scenes before there's even a film. It's Retro Roboland. A quick recap. In number 5, I made some test paper wings which were too floppy based on four wing designs I drew in number four, which was based on the concept sketch from number one to fit a fuselage made in number three. Okay, so I have the four paper wing designs from number five, and my first step is to use the templates to trace out the middle portion onto this rigid cardboard. So that's the four middle portions marked out in ink. And then one by one I will cut out the outline using my retractable cutting knife. So that I'll be able to reinforce the wing and it won't be floppy when I test it. And then I take some craft glue and glue the heavy card middle portion to the light card wing design, just like that. Alright, so as I make the other four wings in this way, let me give a shout out to Robin Davis Studio, who makes these really idiosyncratic, quite cartoony and childlike robots out of retro everyday objects like old food tins and rusted bolts. Now I have loads of links in the description, my favourite is on this channel, Makeology, which features many documentaries on all sorts of creative people such as Robin. I've also linked to her own channel where she has uploaded videos of building robots and Robin J. Davis Studio also has a website that I've linked in the description. Okay, so I have a coil of thick wire and I'm going to cut four lengths to provide supports to manipulate them flapping. So the next part of the process is to bend the length of wire into a hook and then I will use tape to stick each of the handles, let's call them handles, to the outside end of each wing so that I'll be able to flap them and then I will choose the best design to move forward. So like before I attach the wing to the rig I made in number 5 and you will see it does not have the problem with warping that I had when I tried the just light cardboard wings. So here you can see me flapping each of the four wings and I do this kind of in a rotational fashion and in doing this it's clear that three of the designs are slightly awkward in the movement. So drum roll please. The winning design is bottom right hand corner, the second of the Otto Lilienthal wing designs with the perpendicular to the fuselage pivot points. It moves smoothly so that's right of the four designs. Uh, we choose the bottom right hand corner that most resembles a modern day aircraft wing as the chosen design to move forward with. Nice work, Otto Lilienthal, whose design the wing is based on. We salute you, Otto. Alright, let's start to make a wing. I will use my painter to draw a design of the left and right, including the struts on tracing paper, and then draw heavy graphite on the reverse so I can trace it through onto the desired surface. And I have to do the same thing on the other side. I do enjoy the method of this transferring designs because it's so imprecise and old school. And I like imprecise and I really like old school. So I have chosen for the wings this hemispherical takeaway bowl with really interesting textures on the outside. A trace and pencil on the outside and then go over that with a permanent marker. And then repeat the process. Pencil first then over the top in permanent marker. So I'll have two curved wing shapes which I will note was not tested on my rig but I hope it will work out okay. So the next step will be to cut out each wing into the three portions using my cutting knife and to keep track I will use my permanent marker to mark out A for right hand wings and B for left hand wings and mark all of the struts so that I'll be able to attach them somehow should that be something I want to do because that could look really cool would match the look of Otto Lilienthal's designs which were made from wood and stretch canvas. Now that's finished, uh, I will just lay them out so you can see them cut out and then I have to have a method to make the wings pieces pivot. So I'm going to glue fabric from an old t-shirt to join the plastic pieces together and will allow them to rotate through 90 degrees when they are flapped in flight like in the test we did earlier. And then I left them to dry 24 hours represented here by a, short, a still shot of 2.4 seconds duration. You see what I did there? Alright, so then I need to make the handle to be able to flap the wing which I drew, the desired shape on MDF board and mess with pliers and some wire. 
Now this took a lot of squeezing and gripping, folding and trying out different things until I got a shape I was happy with is the wing flapping handle. So then once I squeezed and folded a bit more I took out the clamps and some glue and glued the handle to the wings so that I would be able to flap it to make the flying robot fly which I left to dry and then came back the next day to attach the fuselage. So the, what you can see me doing here is gluing the arm to the plastic as I film uh, then in close up using my iPhone. It is at this point I realize that it is all gone astray in lots of ways not clear here on camera and uh, the wire does not adhere to the loose smooth plastic of the bowl very well and keeps on coming off and the fabric hinges keep coming off the bowl the wing bends do not rotate very easily through the horizontal rotation and the flap is just all wrong and finally the way I've made the wings I just don't get the full range of movement that birds get when in flight I basically a rigid wing does not want to do what I want and falls apart easily so in seven Number seven, I will literally go back to the drawing board and design a new wing design on paper, which will allow the range of movement I want to achieve. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe over there. You can start the playlist from the beginning. It's going to get longer and longer. Over there is one that the YouTube algorithm has chosen. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.